right, we're going to start up. Welcome. I am Kyle Troy. I am the director and biologist here at the Marine Education Center in Harbor Island Park in Mamaroneck. Hopefully some of you guys have come down here. We are open now from Monday through Friday from 9 to 4, so calm down. Everything's not completely open, but you can at least come down and see some of the fish. So we're, today we're going to be talking about a special animal, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Marine Education Center. All the animals that I have here at the center are from the Long Island Sound. Does everyone know what the Long Island Sound is? Anyone know what kind of water the Long Island Sound is? It's in most of our backyards. And the comments come through slow, so comment or talk to your friends or family at home about the answers if I ask a question. And I will answer it a couple seconds later. So the Long Island Sound is a big word. It's an estuary. So it is salt water from the ocean and fresh water from something like a river. And right here in Mamaroneck, we have the Mamaroneck River, which is our fresh water source. So all the animals that we talk about throughout the next couple of weeks come from that water. So today we're gonna to talk about a special animal, and I wanna know if anyone knows what this is called. What do we have here? Let's see. Again, the comments come in a little slow, so answer as we go, and I'll give you the answer a couple seconds later. So this is a sea star, or a lot of you guys know it as a starfish. So we're gonna take her out. And I go diving for these guys. These guys live deep down. Everyone know what this is? Sea star, they are alive. That's a big question for me. They are alive. Yes, starfish, great. So they are alive. Hi, Henry and Farah. So the sea stars are alive. A lot of people ask me that when they come into the center. So you're gonna start to see the sea star move. I'm gonna try to get him close. You see him moving? Does anyone know what those are called? Let's see. Moving away. <laughs> so he's gonna start to curl around me because they like to hold on with those. So those are called tube feet. Like we have feet, they have tube feet. They have lots and lots and lots of tube feet. So what those tube feet do is help them hold on like he's about to do to my, my hand. They also help him eat. And my next question is, does anyone know what a sea star likes to eat? Let's see if anyone knows what a sea star likes to eat. I'm gonna take it out. You're gonna answer at home with your friends or family. And then I will tell you. So they like to eat a lot of things, but their favorite thing is this. Hi, Gabriel. So this is their favorite food. Does anyone know what this is? So this is a clam. So they love to use those little tube feet. Yes, Darlene, Henry and Farah. <laughs> that is a clam. So they love to eat clams. So what they do is using those tube feet that you see moving there, They'll wrap around the clam like this, and they will open it up using those strong little tube feet on the bottom there. And you're gonna look underneath right here, that's their belly. 
So that's, yes, that's their belly. So their belly actually will come out of their body to eat the clams. So sea stars are very special. So why I call them sea stars and not starfish is because they're not fish. What's one big thing here that you see that a fish has that a sea star doesn't have? Let's see if we could look and see. What does a fish have? Maybe you can see in the touch tank here some of the fish swimming around. What does a uh, fish have that a sea star doesn't? Let's see, Darlene. Is the orange shot on? Yes, and we're going to get into that. Good. So let's see. What does one of these little fish here, the killi or mummy chug, have that a sea star doesn't? This is why we don't call them fish. So Darlene hit it right on the head there. So this orange dot, a fish has fins, yes. A fish has fins, it's a big thing that a sea star does not have. And a fish has gills. Does everyone know what gills are? So gills help a fish breathe. Sea stars do not, and like Darlene just said, they have this orange dot here. A lot of people think it's their eye, and we'll get into their eyes in a second. So this orange dot actually is kind of like a door. It lets water in and out. So when you guys come down to the center and feel him or hold him when the touch chain's open again, you're gonna feel that he's very hard. He's very hard, because he's filled with water. And that orange dot lets water in and out. So that's how they breathe. They don't have gills like a fish would have. They also don't have this slime. If you've ever talk, uh, touched a fish, fish have slime on them. So that's one quality all fish have. All fish have this slime on them. Sea stars do not. They have very rough, rough skin, type of skin. So when you feel them, you're gonna feel that he's hard, but he's also a little rough. Why do you think he's a little rough? What do you think that helps them? Helps them with? You feel that he's rough like that. So that helps protect him, right? So that gets me to, I wanna bring out one more sea star for you. holding on to another favorite food of his, muscle. They're muscles, and we'll do that in another episode. We'll talk about muscles. So I want you to see the difference. What's the difference between our big sea star before and this little guy? Where is their mouth? Sorry, I just saw that. So their belly's right here. You see it? He's kind of coming out. He just ate. So I want everyone to look at this. <clears throat> What's the difference between this guy and our other one? Let's see if everyone at home can see it, can tell me. So the other little guy had two, had five big arms, right? This guy has two little arms, weird little arms, right? <laughs> so what sea stars can do like Darlene said, they have that rough skin so they don't get eaten. It helps protect them. But they also can lit, get rid of their arm. If something's coming after them, they'll just release their arm. We can't do that. Yes, it has shorter arms. So what they do is they'll just get rid of an arm and try to get away as quickly as possible if something's coming to eat them. So this guy got rid of two of his arms. He just released them and he got away. <laughs> That's cool though, right? We can't do that, but they can. And they regrow them. So he'll get his arms back in a year or so. A little bit, takes a little while. I'm gonna take out our other one really quick again. Because my last fun fact about sea stars. I want 
everyone to tell me, if they can, how many eyes do you think a sea star has? Let's see. How many eyes do you think a sea star has? Sea stars look pretty boring, right? But they actually have a lot going on. So I want everyone to look. I'm going to show you moving. You see his two feet moving again. So while we're looking at his two feet, can everyone tell me how many eyes do they think they have? See him moving around. See. So sea stars have five eyes. Another one for you. Different color. They all have different colors. So sea stars, some sea stars have a lot of arms. These sea stars in the Long Island Sound have five arms and they have five eyes. So they have an eye at the end of every one of their arms. You can't really see them, but when you guys come down here, you'll be able to see them. So they have five eyes. But they can't really see images like me and you. They see more like dark and bright. So that's it for our Sea Star program today. So you could join me with the Westchester Children's Museum every other Monday. So this is my Monday and I'll be back again in another two weeks. And we'll be talking about another animal of the Long Island Sound. And I look forward to having you guys. Again, my name is Kyle. I'm a biologist here at the Marine Education Center in Harbor Island Park in Mamaroneck. So you can come down. We are open Monday through Friday right now. We have a different kind of schedule than we usually have. Um, but it's 8 to 4. And I look forward to having you guys on the show every week. All right, I'll talk to everyone soon. Have a good day.